My name is Peter Hedges. I wrote the novel and the screenplay, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I worked on films like A Map of the World and About a Boy. And I've written and directed the films Pieces of April, Dan in Real Life, and my new film, which is The Odd Life of Timothy Green. I grew up in uh, West Des Moines, Iowa. I'm the son of uh, Father Bob, who uh, Robert Hedges, who lives in San Angelo. He's been here for 30 years. He moved here with my stepmom in 1982. And uh, I wanted to be an actor uh, as a kid and, and, and became a playwright, and then a novelist, and then a screenwriter. And now I write and direct films. Everything I write is born out of the things that matter most to me, and family being foremost. So I came from a pretty terrific and complicated family, and I try to write stories about pretty terrific and complicated families. Oh, well, uh, my favorite one is in uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. There's a uh, scene um, where I told my little brother that while nobody in the film is based, or the novel, I, I told my little brother that none of the characters in Gilbert Grape are based on anyone from the family, but invariably little moments from our life would end up in the film and he said, that's fine, there's just one thing I don't want you to ever write about. And I said, what's that? And he said, well, remember how I used to take grasshoppers and stick them in the mailbox and chop off their heads? And I said, yeah. And he said, I said, yeah, Philip, it's on the first page. So it was on the first page of the book. So um, with this new film, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, I mined um, heavily some of the mistakes I've made as a parent with my kids and had some fun at, at my expense. There's a kind of over-parenting that I've been guilty of where I've gotten a bit involved in my kids' athletic activities, and there's some scenes in the film that reflect uh, some of the mistakes I made. No, it's a, it's a good question. Um, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. Um, I mean, I really love writing, um, but I get lonely writing, and I love directing but I get tired sometimes of having to make so many decisions in a day, so balancing seems best. But probably my favorite moments are when a group of people are working together and we're, we're all on the same page and we're working and it's fluid and we're excited and I'm directing what I've written, but I'm getting a lot of help from remarkable people. And so that's probably my favorite, those are probably my favorite moments when, when it's all working and we're all working together. The first thing is I think in our culture everybody's in a hurry and we want things to happen fast. But everything worthwhile in my life has taken time. And a great teacher of mine told me anything worth doing well will take you 20 years to learn. And, and he said in my case maybe 21. Um, I've also read that to do anything well you need to practice 10,000 hours at whatever it is. So that doesn't take necessarily 20 years. So maybe somewhere between 10,000 hours of practice or 20 years, that it will take time. And that you may become famous or you may be successful or, or maybe not, but you're not gonna be any good for a long period of time. So you can relax and kind of give over to the process. Because I think sometimes we're in such a hurry to get where we think we wanna be and we're not able to enjoy where we are along the way. And I try to remember to enjoy each moment of the process because, um, you know, that, that's sometimes as great as it gets and, it, and, and it's pretty spectacular, it can be pretty spectacular.